have startup entrepreneurs. They've been lining up for a really exciting opportunity. They're going to have a chance to present and pitch their food business idea. So today's entrepreneurs are going to have to battle it out for a chance to win up to 5 million pesos in business investment from the foodie group and a guaranteed space in an Ayala establishment. So that's exactly what someone's going to need to get their big break. It's going to get them off the ground and up and running. All the food's really great. I'm really proud of everyone here. And I, I'd really love to do a second round of everyone right now. Everything's really different from one another, so actually that's great. I don't know if I can still fill my stomach with our second round. This vendor ranked the highest among the 30 vendors we have here. Okay, the food is choice goes to... Auntie May! Congratulations! I've been, I think, the assistant of my mother since I was 10. As a, um, as a business, so we entered actually the food business about seven years ago. Actually, I think I found something that is God-given that, you know, I'm enjoying. So I don't find it like work. What we have right here are my two flagship dishes. This okay. is our U.S. beef tapa. Okay. okay. And this is our Angus beef salpicao. The first break that we had was when we joined the Ultimate Taste Test mm -hmm. in 2011. Our entry then was the U.S. beef tapa. But with the comments after that, we adjusted our recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's like coming home to my mom's. Going exactly home, what going I home wanted to my mom's to house. Yes. Now, what would winning the ultimate taste test mean for you and your business? Um, actually, I was so excited about this because I know I was going to learn a lot more. And at the same time, it might give me an opportunity to grow. Um, there's some nervousness inside of Every, me. Everyone's uh, nervous, so yes, don't worry. But, That's but probably a good said, thing. Yes, it's a That's good thing. That's probably a good thing. If we're given the chance to win, I would really like to develop and have another, probably, restaurant. Another restaurant. restaurant. And at the same time, proceed with this concept of heat and eat. Maraming salamat po. Maraming maraming salamat po. Eh, nakakataba ng puso. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy. Do you sell the tapa on its own? As yes, a, frozen tapa? packs. We do sell them in frozen packs, which can cook straight from the freezer. So, um, this one I learned from my children because they like to take midnight snacks and I like to like <laughs> tell them... I, I, tell them to try to avoid fast food. So what I do is I pack them in single serve sachets so that they don't need to they don't need to thaw the whole thing. They can just cook it straight from the freezer. Okay. First of all, I would like to thank God for the opportunity that he has given me today, this week. Thank you to Anton. He was where I started. I started with the ultimate taste test way back in 2011. So he gave me the break. I would like to thank Eric, Globe, um, Ayala Malls for giving us um, home-based businesses okay, the opportunity to share our passion and to share our talents. And most of all, I would like to thank all the foodies, um, most especially those who gave me um, feedbacks wherein I could still improve my food and of course, I would like to thank the foodies who loved my food very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.